Hi there, Jennifer Roberts here with a tutorial for Plane Maker. This video was recorded using version 1151. We'll continue our look at 2D generic instruments and walk through a very basic example of modifying the default artwork. Working with 2D instrument art requires Plane Maker, image editing software such as Photoshop, and X-Plane to view and test your instruments. We will not be covering 3D cockpits or instruments in this video, as they are quite a bit more complicated and require 3D rendering software such as Blender. We'll be continuing with the Cirrus Jet, where we've already modified the 2D panel and added two generic needle instruments. Our generic instruments have some default artwork, so our image field here in the properties is blank. With our N1 instrument selected, when I use the keyboard shortcut Control plus P, Plane Maker will save a copy of the default art in the correct place in our aircraft folder hierarchy. Now there is a name in the properties image field, which matches the ping file name on disk. Since we have more than one of the same type of instrument on our panel, we need to change this file name. Let's rename this one to N1 Gen Needle and then open it up in Photoshop. I'll give the background a rough green and red arc and color in the needle. Save these changes and go back to Plane Maker. We need to change the image property, and when I click in the box, you can see Plane Maker already knows the new file name. Once selected, the new artwork shows up in our panel. Now let's modify our N2 instrument. Just like before we select it, use the Control plus P shortcut, and then rename the file. We'll drag this into Photoshop to add a green and red arc to the opposite side of the instrument, since it goes the opposite direction, and we'll color our needle. Save these files, go back to Plane Maker, and change the image field again to see the revised art show up. Save the aircraft file here, then go back to X-Plane. Reload the aircraft and art to see your changes. So remember that when working with generic instruments, you specify the images, you specify the keyframe table, and you specify the data ref and all the properties. And when creating custom art for your generic instruments, remember to rename your ping file so that you can have different images if you use the same type of generic instrument multiple times. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. 